Hello everyone and welcome back to Nim Podcast. My name is Nima and today I'm going to review uh, my headphones which is Beats Solo Pro by Dere uh, that I bought about less than a year ago. Please be with me. Well, as I mentioned, I bought this about a year ago, less than a year ago. I bought it exactly on the 24th of August, 2021. And tomorrow, um, I think it's 9th of June, 2022, I'm going to deliver it back to shop store which I bought it from uh, less than a year ago and it's called L shop here in Norway and the main reason that I bought these headphones uh, is that uh, first of all I trusted the brand uh, Beats Spider Air because of my last experience with another headphones still working but not wireless and not with the technology which is called ANC or active noise cancelling and at the time I was a student and I'm living in a neighborhood which is usually a little bit more um, you know noises from the neighborhood thin walls and you know them it's kind of disturbing but anyway I I thought that it's a solution to buy a, a kind of active noise cancelling headphones which is and was the solution at the time uh, to use this technology um, to just cancel every noise so I got to uh, so I got a chance to study I just put it on my ears and put some kind of studying music uh, or relaxing music on and that helped me a lot but from the day one I noticed some difficulties with these headphones but I bought it and I, I thought okay what's the big deal about that and I mentioned those problems in unboxing which was in Persian and at the time, the day one, the minute one that I opened the box and I put it on my head and I thought, oh God, that's too heavy. <laughs> and that's too tight on my ears. Um, very uncomfortable if you hold it more than 15 or 30 minutes which uh, when I was studying I usually put them off and just go away for five minutes relaxing and then coming back and continue and that that was the solution at the time but that was not only the only problem that I had with these headphones that they are too heavy and too tight you don't expect it from the flagship brand, uh, high price, expensive. And you, we expect it to design it in the best way possible with a good material. So after a while, something happened and material wise, and I'm going to show you, um, you see, um, these headphones working like when when it's closed it's off and when you open it like this it's on already but to put it on your head you have to open it like this and you just saw it you see it now it cracks open and that was the main problem for me after i don't know six months um, I, and it's bigger now, but in the beginning it was just small, uh, small cracks here, back and forth. And I'm going to show you, this is the 
front side and this is a back side you, you see another crack here and I think another problem I can show you or you can hear it when you open it there's too much noise and as you put it on your ears it's the same it cancels all of the noises from the outside but as you move your head not so fast just as a normal person to the left or the right um, you can hear it uh, that is it's noisy kind of noisy <laughs> and there was a, not any solution for that i don't know i, I couldn't think of put some oils in it um another problem with this uh rubber headband rubber cushion is that it's too after a while with if you put it on your hair um it it's not stable even though they are too heavy and too tight but they falling especially when you try to study which needs you uh, you put your head a little bit down downward and if you go to for walking not not running not jogging but if you go for walking uh, you have to um, stable or uh, adjust them um, all the time I, I don't need to do that with these headphones and this is different class this is something totally different but anyway just like the earphones that you need all the time put them back at the place in your ears it, you know you need also to fix these headphones all the time and uh, avoid it to fall from your head on the on the street on on, on the ground it's if you put it on your hair it become oily um, it's it's dirty all the time and another problem is that if you, for example, go for walking in the summertime or even winter time, I don't know. And you know, the Norway is a very cold country. You sweat like a hell on your ears. And uh, it irritates your ears. And um, believe me or not, I have some kind of XM or eczema around my skin and around my ears and that makes it worse so I almost gave up but um, not I, I was just try to make a decision um, about two three weeks ago what I'm going to do which uh, my my conclusion was to buy another pair or something else from another brand I just try to be patient for a while a little bit and then decide what what I'm going to do with this but just a few days ago uh, another problem has occurred and which is uh, the left headphones I, I cannot um, demonstrate it uh, the left headphones make a noise like uh, I can produce it like all the time um, if you put it on active noise cancelling or ANC um, I think it doesn't work it, it or it works in reverse uh, it brings the noise from the outside in so I called a customer service asked them about that after 15 20 minutes waiting and uh, dialing another number put number one if you want to talk with this person put number two if you want to this if you want to talk to this person and finally after 20 minutes i just got answered that they don't know and they just put me on the chat with the robot and again it was not perfect and i asked the robot to or bot just to connect me with some real person and finally I got to speak with someone or chatted I chatted with someone um, and actually he wrote me in Swedish 
and I got just answer I have to go to the shop store that I bought it from just deliver it and they're going to decide and the problem is about the insurance and guarantee if I bought the insurance at the time I bought it which is not cheap um, on uh, almost expensive headphones so I have to pay extra uh, and that helps me to if I go back to the boutique or shop store and just show this is not working as it's supposed to so they give me another one if they have um, but right at the time it's just including uh, guarantee and guarantees like if it's the damage even though it's not my fault i'm going to show you the bits uh, make this piece of bags not a very big one and you just have to fold these headphones like this you see for put it back in the bag uh, not perfect <laughs> kind of put it back in this bag so uh, they they said if it's just this damage of or if the uh, the problem with the left side of the headphones if it's related to this damage the guarantee is not cover it even though both of them is not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong with the headphones. I just put it on, put it off. And I have to close it because if I do not close these headphones, they're going to be on all the time, which damage the battery after a while. So I'm very annoyed. I'm not satisfied at all. And it seems I'm going to, if the guarantee doesn't cover this damage, I'm going to lose a lot of money. So, not a good job at all, Beats. So, that was my experience with Beats Solo Pro. I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to uh, deliver it tomorrow to the shop store. I think I have to wait at least one month to uh, that post send it to the company they have to if they're going to fix it or repair it they have to uh, maybe uh, order some stuff take some time and then if they fix it and then send it back to me it takes a while i have to be very patient but i'm not going to hold these headphones again so it's a history for me i hope this information was um, helpful for you and i hope you enjoyed this episode and see you next time bye bye